Don't get scared. It's not going to hit your hand, I promise. <laughs> In the previous video, I was debating about which frame I was going to build next. Well, it turns out that I'm going to be building out this TCR 260, which looks an awful lot like the QAVR. I took this to one of my races and uh, a couple of my friends have the QAVR and they said this one sure looks a lot like it and when I looked at theirs, boy it sure looked a lot like it. And as a side note, Rego from our group made this new awesome logo for our KCFPV Multi GP group. Anyway, thought I'd mention that because I love it. Uh, anyway, so the question becomes what kind of motors should you run on this and what kind of speed controllers should you run? Well, for this one, I'm going to be running these DYS SE2205 motors. And uh, these are high powerful uh, motors. They have uh, extra strong magnets in them. And basically, when Emacs released their red bottom motors that look a lot like this, uh, DYS didn't have anything initially that would match up with this uh, motor. So that's where these DYS Special Edition 2205 motors came from. So why did I choose the DYS motors over the Red Bottoms? Well, the Red Bottoms have been extremely popular and several people at our races have shown up with these and their quads are fast. Well, these are the Special Edition 2205s and these are basically DYS's response to the Emax motors. Now there's some differences. This one has a little bit better air cooling, at least that's what they claim. It's supposed to have these little ridges are supposed to help cool the motor a little better, where the DYS one doesn't have that. Well, this one also has a solid shaft up here on the top, where this one is a hollow shaft, and that's supposed to make it a lot stronger. And the other big difference is that people complain all the time that they're losing their little C-clamps off the bottom of these motors here whereas the DYS's have a screw in the bottom, so they're not coming out at all. So, but anyway, why choose this one over the red bottoms? Well, first of all, I, I wanted to try something that was a little bit newer, and uh, I like the DYS uh, brand anyway. Most of my motors are them. Well, anyway, here's some stats, and I circled the important ones we need to look at, and I've had some people question about, ask questions about this too, but here we are. This is for a 12 volt battery, basically a 3S battery with 5045 props. It draws 20 amps of power and gives you 100 or 712 grams of thrust. And sorry, this is for the RS 2205s. So you got it. So you want to compare these numbers here. These other ones are important too, but really, if you compare these two, you're going to kind of figure out get the most information. I don't know what you can on this. Well, here's the uh, DYS motors, and they run 12 on a 3S battery. They're getting 16 amps and, and pulling 600 grams of thrust. Well, that's not quite as good as the 700 grams that the RS 2205s use, but they're only using 16 amps and these are using 20 amps. Basically, this will give you more thrust, but it's also going to drain your battery a little faster. This one will give you a little less thrust, but it's also going to be a little bit easier on your battery. Almost, you know, almost 25% easier on your battery. But, you know, who cares about 3S? What we really want to know are the 4S numbers because that's what real men fly. <laughs> Okay, so here's the 4S battery with 5045 props. And we're only looking at 5045s because that's probably what I'm going to end up running. But here it says that this is for the uh, Emax motors again. They get on um, 29.9 uh, amps, uh, right there, amps, you're pulling 1,024 grams of thrust. 30 amps, 124. On a DYS motor, with again, we're using 4S, we have 26 amps and we're pulling down. 1070 so it's actually using less amps instead of 30 it's using 26 and you're getting more grams of thrust now you can't necessarily always rely on these numbers the best thing to do is to find someone who's tested both of them on the same testing rig that way you know the numbers are actually comparable but because i don't have a testing rig i'm going with the uh, numbers that were on banggood's website and from these uh, you can see that these dys motors running on 4s with 5045 props, uh, right there, 5045 props should give you more thrust and less amps. So, and so according to these numbers, that makes the DYS ones the winner if you're going to be using 4S and um, 5045 props. 
So why did I choose to use the DYS XM20 amps? Well, it's because I've been using these little B ESCs and they've been working just fine. In fact, they've probably worked better than most other ESCs I've used in the past. And they support uh, 2S to 4S and uh, they, they burst up to 25 amps for 10 seconds. But these XM20 amps are actually uh, an upgraded version of the uh, other, of those uh, little Bs. They have an upgrade from the SN series. They, uh, they have a frequency up to 50 hertz and they also work better with higher kV motors and the definition of higher kV motors or the relativeness of that has changed recently since there's a lot more uh, motors that are going up over 3000 R or a kV but anyway these should work well with these and it also has this um, 500 Hertz here that the that the uh, throttle can work off of and also they they do the ultra high speed one shot 125 now I'm not sure what all that really means there it is 3000 Hertz high refresh rate all I know is that these XM20 amps are supposed to be better than the little B ESC's and here's an XM20 amp here and it comes this one is a V1 and the V1 I believe comes without the wires soldered on if you get a V2 the wires are already soldered on but it also comes with this little plastic housing so you could use this if you wanted to and it just folds over and shuts on itself and here's a uh, little B20 amp ESC. This is the one I'm, I'm not going to be using because I'm going to be using these. And you can see they're here. They're about the same size. The big difference is that these are the upgraded ones. And they also have solder pads on them, which makes it easy to solder your wires from your motors directly to it. These aren't too bad to do either, but you have to cut your, uh, your um, heat shrink to get to those solder points. Now here's a, in, in a 30 amp little B ESC. And you can see it's not really that much bigger than the uh, SN20 amp. In fact, it's, well, there it is. It's a little bit longer, but it's not really much wider than, well, no, it is wider. Anyway, it's, this is a 30 amp, and I thought about using this, but like I said, I talked to the to a DYS rep, and they said these uh, DYS XM20 amps should work perfect with the DYS SE2205 motors. Just to compare these a little more, I'll go ahead and I'll weigh the red bottom here, and it weighs in about right at 30 grams. And the DYS motor, it weighs in about 31.1 grams. And this wire's a little bit longer, so you could say, oh, the wire's longer, sure, whatever. They're pretty close to the same, maybe one gram heavier for the, for the DYS motors. So the TCR260 is the frame I'm going to be building. I'm excited to use these DYS motors because I haven't ever used these before. And according to the specs, it should it looks like they're going to be a lot more powerful than what I've been using before. And with these paired with these XM20 amp ESCs, they should perform excellent. Now there's also some 30 amp ESCs that are also available. And I don't think they were available when I went and ordered these, but I think they are now if you want to try those instead if you're worried about these. But you know, the only time you're actually going to use more than 20 amps is when you're pushing the throttle real hard and I have a hard time getting my throttle up that high to begin with anyway because I hear the motors scream and I think they're gonna break anyway that's just been a quick look at these DYS motors and these SN uh, or these not SN 20 amps XM 20 amp ESC's I think these things paired together are gonna be great and I'm looking forward to getting this quad built if you have any questions about this or any arguments you want to make about why you think the red bottoms are better besides the fact that you already bought them let's talk about it in the comments I'm always up for a good debate and uh, hopefully um, hopefully yours is flying well hopefully this one flies well and it is ready soon and I will have some more build uh, review videos of this later and some flight footage once it's done anyway if you have any questions leave in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can and as always thanks for watching these are some smooth motors